What's up, guys? Welcome to another brash edition of What's New. And I'd like to say a very happy Easter to my subscribers out there. Well, I mean, it's Easter today, but I'm uploading this tomorrow. So, happy April Fool's Day. There we go. And I've been running down the the uh, every day until uh, I'm done or WrestleMania 29. I'm going to run out every single match on that card. And I already covered Rock and Cena, and I went over the Shield and... Uh, or in Sheamus and and uh, Big Show. But now today I'm gonna do probably the match with the least amount of build up, which is like what the heck, you know? Because it's a, it's an actual title on the line. This matchup it would have to, and I'm talking about the Miz versus Wade Barrett for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, at first sight, you would think, well, maybe uh, you know, since the Intercontinental Championships on the line, one of the most prestigious uh, titles. In the WWE, there would be a lot more buildup, but it's like this this week on SmackDown. Like I didn't even I wasn't even sure if it was they were having the match because uh, the only reason I knew this because the Miz on commentary said that uh, he was going to be facing Wade Barrett at WrestleMania and he's excited for it, and that's really a shame. Like seriously, uh, back in the day, man, the Intercontinental Championship uh, it used to be. Really good storylines, you know, going to and going into uh, you know, pay per views and stuff. But now it, the that championship, man, I don't know, they done the championship has failed so much since those days. It's crazy, and uh, the only I guess the only pros to this is the fact that the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. I think the last time the Intercontinental Championship was on the line at WrestleMania, it was uh, WrestleMania twenty five, I believe. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Rey Mysterio versus uh, JBL. In his uh, retirement match, and that was only what a good three minutes. I mean, come on, guys, seriously, it's been a it's it makes no sense really for uh, if they want to build these guys up, give them storylines, make make it have make this match have more of a purpose than just the two titles are on the line. I mean, that the, the Intercontinental title is is on the line. It should be more than that. But whatever, the fact that the Miz and Wade Bear are on the card at all is, I guess, good enough. For fans, um, but yeah, I mean these are the guys that you hope in a couple of years will be the main eventing at WrestleMania. In fact, the Miz actually did main event WrestleMania two years ago, and now he's fallen. And you know it's it's cool that he's he's uh, fighting somebody for a championship uh, in the Intercontinental Championship to you know say, but at the same time it's like they WWE just doesn't care about the mid card titles anymore. They're just there for people to hold them and you know whatever. Oh well, but I just said never mind. I forgot what the I just thought about it. Intercontinental Championship was on the line last year too, and it didn't last that long. It with Big Show, my bad. Big Show, I forgot about Big Show and Cody, my bad. So before that, it was WrestleMania 25 though. I'm pretty sure, but uh, you know we got Intercontinental Championship on the line again. You know back to back WrestleMania. So that's that's pretty good, but. This one, unlike last year, this one doesn't have a story to go with it, so I'm not that excited for it. But nonetheless, Miz, Barrett, uh, who I'm, I'm going to go with uh, the way of Barrett to win, the, you know, to retain his title. I don't see why the Miz needs the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz should, should be finally, he should, he, oh, I want him to get back to where he was a couple of years ago, you know, when he was exciting and, and entertaining and, you know, you hope you, know, you would. I would have thought this whole Ric Flair thing with the figure four would have, you know, brought brought him up a notch. But it, you know, it's he's still just on that mid card level, which is, you know, a shame. But uh, hopefully, you know, somewhere after this, maybe he could get back in the WWE Championship picture. Maybe that'd be cool. But you know what? As far as WrestleMania goes, that's the match. There's no build up. There's nothing really special about it. You know, you're gonna people are gonna watch it and there's not gonna be that much to talk about it unless there you go guys another uh match off the list and uh enjoy your april fool's day comment rate subscribe stay cool people